Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Feishi Pottery. So I have a bisque fire in here. The temperature is still at 132 degrees, so it's still a bit hot. But now that I have the top opened, it should cool down fairly fast. And I'll come back in a little bit when it's not quite so hot. Okay, let's give this a go and see if I can get some of these pieces out. Now, um, I have some garden flowers I did. They just are like little garden ornaments. And you can set them on the ground in your garden. And you can also put water in them and um, the bees and butterflies or whatever have a little place to get a drink of water. So it turned out not too bad. I did four of these and they're all the same. So you don't really need to look at all four of them. Same thing. And that's the third one. And the fourth one is down on another shelf. So, uh, let's see. I did a little bud vase, just a little tiny one. I'm trying to learn how to throw them again. I haven't thrown them for a very long time. So, and I'm also using my new Artista wheel, standing up throwing, so it's a bit of a learning curve, but I really enjoy it. And I have a little pumpkin I did. Um, it's hand-built. Uh, I saw this on Clayshare, so I thought I'd try it. It looked quite interesting. And I put orange slip on here, but it's not very dark. So I think I'm going to probably put underglaze over it. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but it'll be an experiment. Anyway, it's kind of a cute little pumpkin. Then I have some little snowmen I did. They're little Christmas tree ornaments and they're all handmade. And the little wire is already in the top to hang them on your tree or you could just stand them up as ornaments whatever so i will be finishing those with probably stroke and coat um that's another one i did a little lady snow person And this one has a little scarf and a hat. She has a little cape and a muff. And this guy here, he has a tiny little scarf with a different kind of hat. And, oh yeah, let's knock them off. And this one here, also has a scarf and a little hat. So, little snowman for your tree. Just move them out of the road before I knock them off. So this one was cut from a template which was nine inches. This would have been the large dinner plate. And this, just a second, get my ruler. It is now about eight and a half inches across. So it shrunk about a half an inch. So I'm thinking um, 
the small, just a sec. So I'm thinking that this, by the time it is glazed and fired again, will be the right size for the small dinner plate, which is eight inches. I mean, if it's a little bigger than eight inches, I don't worry that much about it. But so I kind of know that the large dinner plate template is going to make the small dinner plate. So I'm going to have to make a larger template for the larger dinner plates. Now, I have to decide what I'm going to do for the rest of it because the pattern that is on my old set of dishes, I won't be able to replicate that. Um, I can't find any transfers that are anywhere as close to what is on those dishes. So I'm going to have to do a different pattern, which is okay, I'm not too concerned about that. My main goal is to make the set of dishes the same shape as the old ones. So this is the plate, the old dinner plate, and that is the design that is on it. It's kind of a, looks like roses. Um, and it is much thinner and it has a little foot on the back. These dishes were made in 1871 and it was a 12 place setting. And of course, the plates over the years got broken. I only have six left. I have, uh, I think I have six dinner plates and six of the smaller plates. But they're so, um, I think some of them are so fragile, you really don't want to use them anymore. And this is why I want to sort of copy the pattern and try to replicate them. Now, this here one, um, I don't think the edges are pronounced enough as they are in the, the um, plate here. They're, these are more pronounced, so I may have to kind of redo them too. And also, this is a bit thick. Now, Maybe once it's glazed and fired again, it'll be okay, but we'll see what happens during that process. So, on with the show. Now, I have, let's see. I have more jewelry pieces. Um... This is just a little stamped Celtic design and a heart-shaped one. And another stamp design, uh, one that I put a little design on. And I was afraid it was gonna work, but it looks pretty good so far. And this is another one I did. It's more of a pendant type. And this is another necklace here. And again, that was rolled out with a rolling pin. And this is a little heart. Oh, this is a tree ornament, heart-shaped tree ornament. Yes, I have some more tree ornaments in here. I have a teddy bear tree ornament. And let's see here. Okay, so I have a little pinch kitty here. I tried one of them. And I have another bell ornament and a couple of little ornaments shaped like houses and I put transfers on them. And then I will just probably put clear glaze over them. I might put some stroke and coat on the top. We'll see when the time comes. And then I made some little um, planter tags. You can write the name of your plant on here and put that in your plant pot. I made three of those just to try them out, see how it went. 
And then I started doing some sprig molds. I did two of those. And there's this, whoops, there's this one here. And then I did a little angel. Um, I didn't put a, oh yes, I put little holes here to hang her with some wire. So you could put her on the tree too. So these are some more of the dishes. This is a saucer that goes with the cups. I haven't done the cups yet. And this probably was, uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to get my template here and see what's what. This one is smaller. So I had a template for the soup bowl, but it was just like the, um, how big around it was. And it's eight and a quarter. So I'm thinking that's what this was, eight and a quarter. And of course it has shrunk down a bit. Um, And this would have been the small dinner plate, which was eight inches. And of course it has shrunk down even smaller. So that pattern for the small dinner plate, I have to use the large dinner plate for them now and make a bigger one for the larger plates. So more experimenting. And I did a little serving dish, trinket dish, whatever you want to call it. That again was a stamp design or a design made with a rolling pin, and I put little feet on it. It turned out not too bad. Okay, now I have another little trinket dish. I put um, a transfer on that. No feet, just a flat bottom. And I have the other little flower, garden flower. Now, oh, I also made um, a tray to put my wet slip in to dry it out. So uh, that's a little bit on the hot side. So that'll be good. I can use that to put all my wet slip on now and it has a place to dry. I had a smaller one. It was round, but it's really too small. And one last dish on this shelf, which is just a little Halloween plate. And I just used uh, a template to press the design into the plate and just flat bottom. Okay, I also made some little earrings. I thought I'd give them a try. I just did some round ones and two little heart shaped ones.
They might be a bit thick too. So this is a mug, quite a big one. There. And I just did a little design on the bottom. And I did another coiled planter. This is my what, second attempt to do these. And the bottom keeps cracking on me. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing wrong. Um, maybe the bottom isn't thick enough or it's drying too fast, probably. So try it again. But they're not for sale, so. And this is just another little planter I uh, hand, hand built. And I used the rolling pin to put the rolling pin design on. Uh, let's see, I did another mug with a design on it and I will color that in. Oh, oh no, that's just... and design on the bottom. I'll probably use a stroking coat on these. That's another one. And clear glaze over the top. <laughs> now this one... <laughs> I got a bit ahead of myself, I guess. I did a design here and I did a design there and I forgot to put the stroking coat on it. So I'll have to try to carefully draw that in by hand. That could be fun. Anyway, and then I have another mug that I put a transfer on. My little, um, Irish pattern mug. That didn't turn out too bad. And I have a little creamer, cream pitcher I did. Uh, just a small one. I think I'm going to try and do a sugar bowl to go with it. Um, the set I have in the house is a bit small. So we'll see how that goes. And then I did some flasks. Now, this is the first one I did. And I did that with a little Irish pattern. And it has a little open on the top. I may, I may, I don't know. I may just put a little strip of more of this here to cover that up. I don't like that too much, but that was my first attempt, so not too bad. Now, the second one I did, I did with a pattern, with a rolling pin, and that turned out pretty good. And then I did a couple of Halloween ones. This has got skulls and roses, and um, I put the spout in the middle on this one. And then this one here, I did two transfers. I did this transfer and then this other one to go all the way around. And the spout is on the side. I think it's one of those things, the more you do them, the better you get at them. So I'm just going to get this next piece out. Hang on a sec. So this is a heart-shaped gift box, trinket box, whatever you want to call it. And that is the lid, plain on the inside, and that's the inside. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. It didn't turn out too bad. And then I, I used the rolling pin again to put the design on that. And I also put it on the bottom. So that's the last one. Let's get this over on the shelf here. So thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you like my channel, give me a like and subscribe. Thanks again. Bye for now.